What's up guys, my name is RR Abrat, and in today's video, I'm going to give you four reasons why I made the big switch from Sketch to Figma coming up. Now on my most recent project, I had to make a big decision. I've been using Sketch for years now, ever since I started my whole web design journey about four years ago I've been using sketch and I started using sketch actually because a friend recommended it to me before that I was using Photoshop and I'm talking about like every layer every UX item was made in Photoshop and I'm gonna tell you right now I hated that and I didn't know that programs like sketch or Figma or XD existed I that just shows you how much of a newbie designer I was or I were because I wasn't I didn't go to school you know, I just kind of learned these things on my own. And so I started using Sketch and I've been using that for about four years. And then the most recently I got, I made the switch to Figma. Now this was not just some recent, uh, this was not just some, you know, off the cuff decision that I made. It's actually a decision that's been brewing, you know, inside my soul and in my heart. Um, because I've been, I've been growing frustrated with Sketch, just some little things here and there. And so I finally made the big switch on my most recent project. And in this video, I'm going to give you four reasons why. Now, real quick, as a disclaimer, don't make your decision based off of what I say. If you use Sketch, if you use XD, props on you. Remember, these are all just tools. It really depends on the builder or the user, the creator. These are just simple tools, whatever your preference is use that you know make your decision on trying it not just because some random dude on the internet told you to do this okay so the first reason why i made the switch from sketch to figma was because it was cloud-based i was beginning to grow frustration on sketch because the files would save in my uh drive or my hard drive or something i put it in my dropbox they're in the computer and it was just uh, uh, sometimes hard to access because sometimes there'll be big files and I'll put it on my hard drive and then I can't access it because you know my hard drive is at home or something like that. I was growing frustrated with that on, on having to find my files. I was enjoying that Figma was purely cloud based. Now by the way, Sketch has done some upgrades here and there on making it the same as how Figma is or even Adobe XD, but I was just growing frustrated with it. I'm trying to find my files, um, you know, having it on different drives. So I love that Figma, all the files were in the internet were, you know, saved on the, the almighty cloud. And if I lost a hard drive or if my hard drive is broken, at least my files are safe. My design files are good to go. Where did all the files go? The second reason why I made the switch was because of a monthly fee. One of the main differences with Sketch and Figma was uh, Sketch was a one-time fee. Now, admittedly, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're someone, if you have good financial sense, that one-time fee is actually probably better. But not all of us, you know, have the dough to just put in hundreds of hundred dollars real quick. Some of us like the feeling of just 15 bucks a month here and there, even though I know in the long run, it makes more financial sense to get the one time fee. But I love that Figma was a monthly fee and I can stop anytime I wanted. I can start it anytime I wanted. If I were to add more team members, I could add them on. And the thing is with Sketch, even though it was a one-time fee of like $100, I still needed to update it like every year. So every year I was spending like a hundred bucks to keep updating my Sketch. And so I made the switch to Figma because of monthly fee. Thirdly, and this was the big one. Major key. This number three reason was really the main one was because this last project that I did, I worked with a team. And I needed a program that was going to help me utilize and help me work perfectly in sync with my team. Now, I tried Sketch Cloud and Sketch Team, and I don't know why. Maybe I wasn't able to figure out. Maybe, you know, I'm dumber than other people, but I couldn't figure out how to work with my team. And uh, my team would do this, or, or some freelancer that I contacted would do this with the, with the site. 
and then I would try to make an upgrade or I try, I try to make a change and it wasn't showing, it wasn't syncing correctly. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Let me know in the comments below, you know, the secret sauce to it, but I just couldn't figure it out. And I was growing frustrated with it. And with this latest project, I worked with two other designers that I needed a program that I could perfectly sync with my team. And so that, this right here was the main reason why I made the switch to Figma was because to me, it was easier when you are working with a team. It's pretty awesome. Like I can uh, I can be working on a page and if I have another team member that is working on another page or maybe even work on that same page with me, I can see if they're logged on. I can see their arrow. I can see exactly what they're doing. If I'm bored, if I don't want to watch a TV show, I can literally just sit there with a bag of popcorn and see my, you know, my designer design the page for some of you that are into that sort of thing. And so I really love that. And I love that I, I can leave comments to uh, to some, some of my designers. You know, now I'm at the stage of my career where um, I don't uh, do as much designing as I did back then. I give feedback, I manage the project, I give creative direction and I, I, I leave feedback on my designers. And I was able to do that seamlessly with Figma, it was so easy and my team is there and all that stuff. So that was really the main reason why I've made the huge switch, uh, huge switch that it's not that huge. Why I made the switch from Sketch to Figma. And then lastly, number four, and this one was actually not why I switched, but then I found out about it when I started using it. Um, and it was just so, it blew my mind. It was awesome. It was, it's, uh, Figma is really great when you want to present projects to a client. Now the web design process goes through a process, right? We've got the site, we've got the content and then the sitemap and then the wireframe and then the mockups and then you finally develop. And a lot of times, if you don't do it correctly, what happens is you go through this whole phase and then you start developing it and then the client find, finally sees some semblance of the project and they see it's already a pre-built website. And what happens is if they don't just totally hate it, they don't like it, they're gonna ask you to change it. You did all this work and you end up having to redo it over again because the client, you know, didn't like it. But with Figma, I was able to create prototypes and, uh, with my, um, with my uh, website mockups, where if you click a button, it'll actually go to the page where it goes to. If you have a light box pop up, you can uh, kind of uh, direct an arrow on where it goes and it shows you seamlessly. And it could be almost like a, a legit website that you can show to a client. All you have to do is send them a link, uh, not like a, a JPEG or a PNG. You just send them a link and they will go to there and it will look like an actual built website for them. And one of the things that really helped me out as we were going through the design phase of this project, the client was able to leave comments at certain spots that he needed to change. For example, he said, you know what, can we change this picture? Um, or can we change this particular text? Um, the, actually, you know what, this is the content for this. Uh, what do you think about this or that? They're able to leave content at actual different places. And so that made the job so much easier for me and my team. And then I was able to leave feedback as well to my team members. And that just made the whole process so seamless. And honestly, after this experience, I don't know if I'm going to look back. Let me know in the comments below. What is it that you use? Is it Sketch? Is it Figma? Is it Adobe XD? I've heard of great things about Adobe XD. I haven't had the opportunity to mess around with it a bit. Let me know if maybe I should uh, try it out. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something from that video. If you did, can you do me a favor? Can you like this video? This helps me kind of bump up that uh, algorithm, YouTube algorithm and hack the system. And then click that big red subscribe button so you can see the weekly content that we're putting out about web design. We put out content about how you can create websites with Webflow, with different design software, and also how you can get clients and start out your freelance journey. And do me a favor as well, comment below. Man, put a comment. I, I try my best to answer right away, even if it's a comment from a video that I made two months ago. Uh, and I'm not gonna say years ago because I don't have any YouTube video from years ago, but from months ago, put a comment there. If something helped you, if you have a question, put it there. I love to engage. I love to help 
people. I love to engage with the community. And until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe out there. Peace.